Uh, today I just want to feature uh, you know one jazz pianist uh, whom I think you know underrated you know and uh, three albums you know issues by the Victor Music Japan. Hi this is Takashino from Jazz Blues Japan. Yes as I said um, I just want to feature this time uh, one a great jazz pianist uh, who is Barry Harris. I think you know Barry Harris is one of the few uh, jazz musicians who survived, um, you know, during the you know hard bop golden era. I think you know he's one of the uh, younger generations at that time during the hard bop era. But I think you know somehow he's underrated. But you know here in Japan, Barry Harris uh, back in the early uh, I think in the 70s and the 60s as well was discovered and uh, featured many many times that's why uh, Victor Music Japan you know reissued um, some of the uh, great titles on the Riverside but I think in that that's amazing you know so uh, I happen to obtain you know three uh, three of the six albums that Barry Harris on the Riverside uh, released uh, during the you know 60s all of them are great great albums but somehow not many jazz collectors you know uh, feature these albums that's why <laughs> i just wanted to share with you you know first yeah i have three albums as i said you know this is the uh one of the best albums i think by, by the you know uh barry harris barry harris trio chasing the bird yes on riverside and the next one is Buddy Harris at the jazz workshop you know this is the live recording session yes in the early 60s and the last one is um yes Preminado. yeah as i said you know Barry harris on riverside uh released uh, six albums i think you know in total and um yeah out of six you know i just uh, happened to obtain three uh, albums which are reissues of course by the victim is in japan and all of these uh vij series in the um i think you know in the early uh, 80s yeah and the ij series is known for the great great pressing quality and also the sound quality right all of these albums are great in terms of the pressing quality and the sound quality yeah uh, victor music japan did a great job but as i said in the uh, in the beginning, uh, Barry Harris, I think, is a kind of underrated, you know, a pianist. Uh, I don't know why, but you know, he's a great, great pianist, um, succeeding the the great uh, hard bop era during the fifties, and uh, in his early, you know, uh, stage of the career, I think, you know, he. He, he he also played with Miles Davis in the early 50s, right? And also he played with, um, yeah, Charlie Parker. That's why, you know, he <laughs> he made a, a great, great album, you know, Chasing the Bird, right? Yeah. He was, he played with, uh, you know, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis. So he had that, um, um, you know, the bass, um, experience uh, in his early uh, stage and in the 60s yeah he made these you know great great albums and there is a story about um, you know Barry Harris um, if you look at the uh, liner notes of the yeah this one uh, Barry, Barry Harris at the jazz workshop you know uh, Yozo Iwanami, you know, he's one of the legendary jazz critics here in Japan. Yeah, the late uh, Yozo Iwanami, he's dead already, but yeah, he made a, a great, great liner notes here. And yeah, Yozo Iwanami also, um, you know, rate uh, Barry Harris as uh, one of the greatest, you know, jazz pianists at that time. Uh, but you know, somehow, uh, he was not featured you know in the u.s and he used to go to the u.s 
I, I don't know, you know, Yozo Yamanami, I think, yeah, he frequently, you know, goes to the U.S. during the 60s and the 70s to, uh, to, to see the great jazz musicians of that time. And in the early 70s, uh, he used to go to the, <laughs> one of the old, old, uh, he, <laughs> he, he just describes, you know, a dirty bar uh, in New York and where uh, you know Barry Harris was playing piano almost every night and uh, he was playing um, like um, you know old rundown kind of you know upright piano not grand piano upright piano and uh, and a bass man you know local bass man and uh, yeah it was a kind of a small place old bar and uh, many many maybe you know uh, pimps and uh, prostitutes and uh, uh, drunken you know men and women uh, just m make noise but um, uh, he was just playing quietly uh, but because of the noise you know unless you go to the the front line of the i mean just near the piano that barry harris was playing you know you cannot hear the sound yeah that kind of thing you know but he used to go there almost every night at that time in the early 70s uh, from that time i think you know he started uh, you know talking with the barry harris and uh you know made a relationship relationship and then I think you know Yozo Iwanami approached the Victor Music Japan to release, I mean, a reissue those you know great great albums on the Riverside here in Japan. Yeah, that's a story. Yeah, that he wrote in this album, you know, Barry Harris at the Jazz Workshop. Yeah, it's sad that um, during that time uh, in the U.S., jazz was no longer, you know, the thing, not popular at all. But here in Japan, jazz was very, very popular, you know, in the 60s, 70s, up to the 80s. Anyway, we need to appreciate that fact that, um, you know, we have these, you know, great, great uh, reissues available uh, even right now. So, that's it. Uh, if you don't rate this, you know, Barry Harris as, um, you know, one of the great uh, jazz pianists, maybe it's better for you to look into these issue series you know by the victim music japan barry harris yeah they are there but you know uh, since as i said barry harris is not a popular underrated a uh, kind of difficult for you to find these titles on the market uh, even here in japan but whatever you find it or two or three uh, maybe it's better for you to get them you know a great great jazz albums and the reissues by the Victor Music Japan are just superb, you know. Yes, that's it for today. I hope you like it. And uh, lastly, I always keep praying, wishing you guys, family members, co workers, everybody to be safe in this unusual and unstable situation. Please continue staying safe. And uh, I always appreciate you guys for supporting us, doing business with us. And always remember that we are connected with the music we love, jazz. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.